welcome back for the course fluid mechanics so in the previous class uh, we have uh, solved uh, one problem on um, potential function and stream function so from module 2 we'll just continue with the problem so the problem is like this the stream function for a given for a fluid flow is xi is equal to 2x square minus 2y square find a resultant velocity at point 1 comma 3 b velocity potential function which was asked in june july 2017 for a six marks so here so in this problem they have given a stream function that is psi is equal to 2x square minus 2y square so for that you have to calculate the resultant velocity capital e which is equal to u square plus v square and at a point at a coordinates x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 3 so that is at point 1 comma 3 and the uh, second one what you have to find out you have to find out the velocity potential function phi so we'll see how to solve this problem so the given function is psi is equal to 2x square minus 2y square so first case we have to find out the capital V means the resultant velocity at point 1 comma 3. So we know the formula to calculate the resultant velocity is capital V is equal to the square root of u square plus v square. So first we have to calculate what is the value of u and v at point 1 comma 3 using the stream function psi. So we have the velocity components uh, formula in terms of stream function that is u is equal to so minus dou xi by dou y. So they have given the stream xi function. So you have to differentiate that with respect to y, you will get u. So minus dou by dou y of so 2x square minus 2y square. So if you differentiate this 2x square minus 2y square with respect to y. So you will get u is equal to 4y because the differentiation of 2x square is 0. The differentiation of uh, y square is 2y. 2 into 2 it is 4 and here minus sign is there. Here also minus sign. Minus into minus it is plus. So u is equal to 4y. So u again now you have to calculate v. So v we have a formula that is dou xi by dou x. V is equal to dou xi by dou x. So that is the, so these u and v are the components of velocity. So here in terms of stream function, the components are u is equal to minus dou xi by dou x and v is equal to dou xi by dou x. So the given function you have to differentiate with respect to x. So, so you will get when you differentiate 2x square minus 2y square with respect to x, you will get v as 4x. So now you have to find out the values of u and v at point 1 comma 3. So at point 1 comma 3 means x is equal to 1, y is equal to 3. So whatever u is equal to 4y we have got, you have to substitute y as 3. So then you will get u is equal to 12 units per second. So similarly, we, we have uh, got the equation as 4x. So substitute x as 1 here, you will get v 4 units per second. So now we got the values of u and v. So the resultant velocity formula is capital V is equal to square root of u square plus v square. So you just substitute u and v here, that is 12 and 4. It will be square root of 12 square plus 4 square. So you will get the value. So V is equal to 12.65 unit per second. So the second case, that is the first case we have done with the calculation of the resultant velocity at point 1 comma 3. So case B, what we have to find out is the velocity potential function phi. So using the psi. So we have the components, the v and u in terms of xi so the equations are so dou xi 
by do x sorry do phi by do x is equal to minus u and do phi by do y is equal to minus v so these are the velocity component equation in terms of phi so now we have the equation for u and v so u and v is 4y and 4x you just equate u and v here so if you equate you will get do phi by do x is equal to minus 4y and do phi by do y is equal to minus 4x so do phi by do y will name that as an equation number 2 because we'll differentiate this do phi by do x as uh, with respect to first we'll just consider this do phi by do x so first step to calculate the potential function is as i have already told in the previous problem the steps first you have to integrate with respect to x so we'll integrate do phi by do x with respect to x so the integral of do phi by do x with respect to x is equal to integral of minus 4y so the integration of do phi by do x with respect to x is phi is equal to so integral of uh, minus 4y with respect to x is minus 4xy plus the con constant of integration c so we'll name this as an equation number one so now the second step after the integration you have to differentiate so we have to differentiate this phi with respect to y so the differentiation of phi with respect to y is do phi by do y is equal to so if you differentiate this with respect to minus 4x with respect to y you will get minus 4x plus the differentiation of c with respect to y is do c by do y so now we have here the equation number two that is do phi by do y is equal to minus 4x so you just substitute that here in place of do phi by do y so minus 4x minus 4x will get cancelled plus is it plus do c by do y so you will get so do c by do y is equal to zero so now so the next is so to get the constant c value you have to integrate that do c by do y with respect to y so the integral of do c by do y with respect to y is c so that will be is equal to the integral of zero so integral of constant we know it is zero so similarly so the reverse the integral of zero is constant k so that will name the constant as k so now you substitute that k in the equation number one so you will get so the potential function phi is equal to minus 4xy plus k thank you we'll stop it here and we'll just continue in the next part